and give messages like, we lay prayer. All right. We have so many. <laughs> Elizabeth Warren, we have Bernie Sanders, we have education. I'm sorry, I missed the first part of that. I said we have many messages okay. for you. Okay. Starting with Elizabeth Warren. We're doing that, so I got about 15 minutes, so. Okay. We'll get ready to do it. Yeah, too bad that kind of seems how to trap out. Certain things I control, certain things I can't yeah. control. Well, that's technology for you. And then when it craps out, you're a tree without a boat. to be in several pieces. You can't call one blade on one flat back. You gotta, you gotta put it put it in two or three. program on TV where those tiny ones that spin like this, that catch you in from any direction, you don't have to rotate them to have them. And, and the small, you put them on top of the boat, you don't need Oh, I could use one of those bad boys on my trike. I want a motor on my trike, because I can't have up hill. I need to just get my picture. Yeah. I want a motor on it, but I don't want to use a gas one. Yeah. If I had the money, I'd put a motor on it, put a solar panel on that bad boy. <laughs> and we've seen it green. Since right now it's red.
Okay, go and get my shirt. Yes, let's go. I don't have money. Put it now. I got a black red shirt. I can always put my own stuff on it. I did that to a white one. on the White House kitchen site. I don't be surprised if that goes next. White House got the petition site is still active apparently. Um, so voice our opposition to uh, Trump and the Army Corps' approval of that easement and the withdrawal of the environmental impact statement and the reinstating environmental impact statement. Already in process, there was a public comment period for the building. And that public comment period is set to close on February 20th, so a week from Monday. And uh, groups were generating thousands of public comments on that environmental impact statement, but that was withdrawn. Uh, Standing Rock Sioux Tribe are suing that, uh, suing the decision. Um, the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe up in North Dakota, they are suing um, the fact that the environmental impact statement was withdrawn and are looking to reinstate that. Uh, we would encourage Senator Grassley to, uh, to respect the rights of the Standing Rock Sioux and to um, support full tribal consultation. The tribes have not been consulted through this entire process. Uh, they're not um, supportive of this pipeline. And uh, we would encourage Senator Grassley to support our process. Anybody have anything else to say? Thank you. 
done on February 20th. The public comment period? That the study would last in February. Okay. Past February 20th. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't know. I was just wondering how close you So, uh, I would like for it uh, like for this state, which is Donald Trump's state, he has no ties to this state. So, uh, Senator Grassley would fight for this environment on time to take it. He will definitely certainly appreciate it.
I do like the lighting down here, and that's the backdrop. So, yeah, yeah, that's the backdrop. Yeah. Anyone else want to turn it? Around, so. still going around. What, do people want to hang out at Southern Eastern Do you want to go up there? Do you want to stay down? Do you want to get yeah. Yeah. You're up there. Okay, over here. Yeah. Okay. I'll, go, I'll go grab some. I'll come down. Can you bring coffee? <laughs> <laughs>
And then to my right here is, is Michael Dolt. He handles all ag related things. Uh, uh, this kind of falls under his purview as well. So, uh, what's that? Like aggravating? <laughs> oh, aggravating. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, he, he is willing to take the questions that he can answer, and uh, we'll, we'll go on with that. So, so uh, really irritating how aggravating this is. Sure, if you'd like to know original co sponsor to the Keystone Excel. Um, pipeline oh, uh, she does support it, both that and the Dakota Access Pipeline. I um, think it's going to create some very good middle class jobs and move one step closer to Okay, that's how many jobs are out there. Um, it's probably the most studied actually pipeline out there around 42,000 good construction jobs. <laughs> For how many years a year and hour? I don't have that information, sir. I'm not. I mean, just a good guess. Just a good guess. I'm certainly happy to take any questions that you want to make sure it's orderly and I can understand. So, so like Ed, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Yeah. Um, I think you would be happy to take any questions. Absolutely. All right, hold on, real quick though. You all signed in with. Um, Senator Graffi's office, right? And they have that paperwork upstairs. So, yeah. so when you do when you speak, just please just give us your, your, your first and last name and give it to them. And then we can possibly get you an answer for, for your question, okay? Or, or your comment. Yeah. Um, so, uh, as far as the process for the Dakota Access Pipeline, uh, there was one easement, there was one portion of the pipeline that was still pending. Uh, the easement under the launch under President Obama, the Army Corps of Engineers uh, started an environmental impact statement process and they actually denied that easement. Um, but once the Trump was offered to kind of accept his memo uh, to encourage the Army Corps of Engineers to approve that easement and to withdraw that, and they just came out publicly yesterday, the Army Corps came out publicly yesterday saying that they would approve uh, that easement under the lobby and that they would withdraw the environmental Next to the Standing Rock Reservation. Sure. Uh, we're 100 percent against this. Uh, we think it's a terrible move, it's disastrous. Um, and we would like to voice our opposition uh, to this decision by President Trump. His phone line to the White House are actually down right now. He's not accepting public comment. So we can email it down. Um, this is incredibly undemocratic. If Senator Ernst uh, believes in democracy and believes in citizens raising their voice, we're asking her to relay our message that I and we are opposed to Trump's decision uh, to approve uh, the union under Lake Hawaii. Um, and there were also several senators today who signed a letter to um, President Trump, the U.S. Senator, uh, saying that they need that the Army Corps of Engineers needs to engage in full tribal consultation. The Standing Rock Sioux in North Dakota uh, still do not approve of this pipeline, and they have not been consulted. This violates their treaty rights. Um, we would ask Senator Ernst to, to support that, um, to respect Native sovereignty, and that there be full tribal consultation. And again, with the Army Corps. Yeah. Right. Probably. Anybody else about how this impacts Iowa? Or So we don't even know 
Honestly, uh, Senator Harris, the record of the good members so far on this issue has been <laughs> some of the values of the integrity of the community are fighting against the community. Not how many of you are doing well. Some of you um, believe we depend on us, some of you are here. Why do you think we can help? Big oil companies. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't seem to me that she's really fighting for our values and our dreams. Beyond that, the whole question of climate change, we've got to climate crisis like no one's fighting for the city. And I speak to her. I think she's smart. I first met Senator Earth when she came to lobby me when I was the ranking member on the Council of the Government. And I did what she wanted. She and uh, she and uh, Kim uh, Kim Reynolds came together. I did what they wanted. I have never had the uh, same the same courtesy. I have never 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 talked to Senator Reynolds about an issue where she agreed with me. So I'm really hoping that changes because uh, I think a lot of people are going to be really frustrated with uh, the Biden administration. Yeah,